Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of Sproggy Wood, and this is episode 3, and we are reloaded, and so, apparently Sproggy says to us, I've returned from Big Tree, where I met with the Mushroom Elders. I'm amazed at how quickly their civilization has progressed. Unfortunately, there is a faction among the Mushroom population that sees the Clogheads as a threat. I tried to assure them that nothing could be further from the truth, but they remain doubtful. This saddens me greatly. Why should two civilizations be hostile to each other? So, it's er, it's so unnecessary. Don't worry, though. I've hatched a plan. The Mushroom Elders are convening a council at Big Tree to discuss the future of Mushroom and Cloghead relations. You should send an adventurer to plead with them. I'm sure you can convince them of your peaceful intentions. Why am I so sure? Oh, I, I know these things. By racco, I do. I do. I do. I do. So, go to Big Tree, plead your case, and the Mushrooms and Clogheads can begin their grand friendship. Farewell, and good luck. Plead the Clogghead case at the Council of Big Tree. Alright, but instead of doing that, which we should, we're going to go back to Ikikolo. And now we have the Thief class that we're going to show off. In a minute, we're not going to show it off yet. We're going to go back to our thing. We have 3,000 money. Alright, we're, we're going to show it off. I lied. All right, to the thief, go! All right, we're gonna begin the adventure. It should all look very familiar. It's pretty simplistic. Um, we're gonna slaughter him, slaughter him. And just pretty much mow our way through these guys. One little spider at a time. There we go. We are trapped in a glass case of emotion. There it is. All right, so we have leveled up. Um, we can swap places with an enemy and deal damage. We can go invisible for five turns, which is actually really good, but I'm going to do the swap place thing for now. And let's see how that works. Nope. I guess the enemy has to be within range of us in order for us to do that, like within melee range. So it won't work. We're going to just continue on doing what we do, as the Icky Coloians once said in Great Icky Colo... I got nothing. There was no way that was ever going to make any sense, so I just decided to abandon it in general. That actually made more sense to abandon it. All right, so we're going to go here. We're going to go back this way, back this way again. We're going to kill. And we have our level up. We are going to be, go, or be able to go invisible for five turns. And money, money all around. And a flaming dagger, which is fantastic, which we are going to purchase once we're done with this. Along with some other various things. we got a scroll of wonder. I don't actually know what that does. Oh, change our surroundings. Eh, I don't want to do that right now. Ah, Wisdom of the Ages, yes. Alright, we could do this. Why not? There we go. We will be able to plant a trap. Now, I was, I've never been one to really use the traps, so we're going to... Oh, gosh. Okay, that's... Oh, it didn't hurt me. Hmm. That's kind of intriguing. Well, if we ever decide to go into battle again and it leads us over here, we will have a trap down. Alright, that's the one I've been looking for. I want to use, or keep that. I don't know if we had that before, but that's one I want to actually purchase and carry with me always. Until I find something better. Alright, so, all that being said, we have cleared level 1, it appears. So we're going to go down to level 2. We're in Icky Colo now. And then soon we'll be in Big Ick Lair. And yeah. And bam. And bam again. Alright, so that's sweet, sweet, nice. We're pretty close to backstab. Alright, we can backstab random adjacent targets and various random things. It's fine. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is go invisible and attack and kill them both. So the thief is pretty useful. And the fact that he can actually go invisible and reposition himself, or run away if he has to. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to hurt me in any way. Which I think is actually pretty exciting. Alright, so we've managed to slaughter many things. Alright, these spiders are nasty, check it out. When you hit them, they go into smoke mode and you have to back up or you get hit by the poison globs. So it's really important how you position yourself when you're fighting these things. That also proves to be somewhat challenging. Uh-oh. Hmm. I may have made a mistake. 
I can rectify, but only barely. Alright, now we're gonna go in Viz. And we're gonna go in Viz again. We're gonna get away from this place, because this place is evil. Ouch. Oh, I poisoned myself. Alright, so we're doing poorly. So now we're gonna use our healing potion. Yeah, I made all sorts of horrible mistakes. It's fine. It's something that you guys, you know, would come to expect if you knew me very well in roguelike games in general and things of that nature. Whoops. Another terrible mistake. And we did another mistake. It's fine. Mistakes are what makes the world go round. Alright, so there we are. Your prayers have been answered with loot. And the frost stab gimmick. Now we're going to use our, our old one. It's fine though. It gives us another option that we can buy. So that was one of those oops moves. And then I actually recovered from it. So that is pretty darn impressive. If I do say so myself. And guess what? I just said so myself. So yeah. That happened. And we are free and clear. Alright. So that worked out rather nicely. Our thief is straight a ballin'. He's doing his job. He's like, you know what? That's fine. Brush with death. Never fun. Never exciting. Or right, maybe exciting, but almost always risky. But you know, we managed it, and we were okay with managing it, and that's fine. And we're gonna be able to continue on without any problems whatsoever. So we shall wait and stabby stab. I also like the fact that your guys, your, your not your guys, but your clog. Well, I guess they're they're each individual. Your clock heads actually get the item upgraded on their little their little paper doll or their character, if you will. So it's actually kind of cool. I like that. I always like seeing that on any game that I play. Ooh, this one's exactly the same as the last one that we still don't want. Alright, and death to you, sir. And more money and more power. And this could go very badly for us. So we are going to try very much to not perish. There we go. We sidestep the fire guys that like to burn up and blow up when they get killed. And a lot of nastier stuff this time. A lot of things you didn't see in the first uh, mission, so... I'm glad that I managed to survive it. Not not well, mind you, but well enough. Alright, we're in Big Ick's lair now. We just have to deal with Big Ick himself. Should be fine. We're going to lay a few traps down. It's going to work out just swell, I suppose. And... Oh. Apparently there are no enemies in that direction. Alright, um... That's fine. Let's see... We'll try our special ability. There it is. We did our critical strike backstab thing to adjacent enemies, and we managed to kill Big Ick at the same time, which is sweet, sweet, nice. We're going to roam around, make sure everything is done. Divine Convalescence, so we are fully healed now, and we got that. I will cash it. We don't need to keep it anymore, because we are done skis. And bam. Just like before, our new class got to show off its abilities, and bam. There we go, we are up to triple stars on this. And we can go back to our village now. And what does he say? Slurp. All right, we're gonna go to the the shop, I suppose. Um, let's go to the weapon shop. All right, we have him there. The dungarees of the potter. What is this? Fire attacks deal more damage. Um, I would love to buy that. In fact, I can even afford it. We're gonna buy the dungarees, I think. And then we're going to switch over to this guy, and eh, we'll buy the flaming dagger as well. So there we go. So everybody has at least a little something. Alright, we're going to go to the big tree, and then we're going to come back and do one at Goturku. And it's going to be fine. Alright, so onward, we're going to go with, of course, our favorite class, the farmer. Yeah, we had a different weapon, but I guess I skipped over it last time. There we go. And the dungarees of the potter. Uh, before we do that, I've changed my mind. I want to go back here. I want to buy... Consumables at the shop. Oh, sorry. There it is. That's what I was missing. I apologize. And we want to buy this as well. Okay, now we're ready. Now we're ready for our mission. To the big tree. Alright, choose equipment, flaming shovels. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, everything's set. We are ready to go. Let's hope we make it through.
Only time will tell. Alright. And we've destroyed him. Hmm. Alright, let's see. There it is. And look at that. Boom. We break the pots open and guess what? We're getting our health back. It's looking sweet, sweet, nice. We're just juking and jiving. Oh, we're going to cash that. Oh, we're going to murder him. We're gonna, oh gosh, I thought we were going to be able to back up in time. Unfortunately, that was not the case, but we'll keep our eyes open for more pottery. Because we are very, very, very anti-pottery. And down it goes. We shall move, and boom, we leveled up again. We will put down our scarecrow gimmick. Oh, there's no enemy in that direction, huh? Okay, Scarecrow. And we'll attack. Attack again. And a third time. And a fourth time. And a fifth time. And a sixth time. That was a lot. Alright. Oh, yeah, it looks like he can move and attack at the same time. A little hurt, but we're not we're not out of the out of the woods or out of the the fight just yet. Hmm. That was unpleasant. Alright, let's kill him. We will do this. Alright, so things are working out. I'm getting a little, uh, I have to actually think about what I'm doing. It's not just working for me like it normally does. Uh oh. Alright, we're gonna try to drop him. And his little friend, too. Okay, well, so far so good. We're going to upgrade our pitchfork. Hiya! Alright, now we're gonna get back up to the front or the top of this area. And hiya, and down and out of the way. And I guess we'll wait one more, we'll move, and then we'll come over here and get some. Ooh, blinking dungarees. Nope. I'm gonna keep my old ones. But it's nice to see there's additional equipment for us. We'll toss that, and it will be sweet, sweet, nice. Fortunately, this is not going to be as sweet, sweet, or nice. And bam. Alright, next up, you, sir. And we move, and then we come over here. And we go back over this way, and then we kill you, and then we wait, and we kill the next one. It's all very, very, very awesome. Like I said, this game is quite fun. Anybody who tells you otherwise is a big fat liar. They're a big fat phony. Yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. It's fine. All right, so onward we go. And we have to just... There's always mistakes that are going to be made. And usually you're like, oh, why did I do that? It was such a dumb move. It's very rare that something bad just happens and it's because you're... Or because something bad happened and it wasn't your own fault. So this game makes you want to kick yourself in the pants every once in a while. Hmm... And bam, all gone, and we still have our healing potion, and we're only about halfway through dis discovering or exploring this level, which kind of sucks. Alright, well, I guess we're more than halfway through. Oh, yeah, catch that. Yay, wintry tides. Or wintry tides, if you prefer. Alright, down to the next level. Thank goodness there are some pottery barn gimmicks here. That actually worked out exceptionally well. And we are... Hmm. Huh. Well, that actually worked out. There we go. Okay, now we can unlock this, which will give us a full heal anytime we want it, which we are going to utilize right now. What does that do? Huh. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even notice that before. Alright, guys, so in case you were wondering, I didn't actually know this. This costs one star, this costs two stars, and this actually costs three stars. I did not know that. That is actually news to me. So I just learned something new about the game after I've already played it for maybe like five or six hours, I would say. 
So there we go. That it just shows how inattentive I am at what I'm doing. So it is what it is. And let's toss that. And let's toss that. Oh, dang it. It's fine. All right. Wisdom of the Ages. It looks like we can level up again. We're going to hurl pitchforks in all directions because that's just nice. Get out the way! Get out the way! Alright, that worked out. Stop hitting me! I'm a delicate farmer. I am not designed for combat. Why am I here? It's because it's the clughead way. Boom! And that is that, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, we're still doing pretty darn good here. We're wrecking tools left, right, center, up, and down, all at the same time, and we're clearing through this pretty nicely. I won't say it's the quickest clear of anything ever. Yeah. Let's see. And... Piccolo that, fool. Alright, so here we go. We need to continue on and kill some speed rays. And then the speed rays are dead. Spiders, guess. Spiders. Speed rays, spiders, nothing. Really? It's fine. Alright. We have five hit points and we heal for two to three HP whenever we break a pot. Or we can heal for three to four whenever we break a pot. We're going to use the new one. Boom. The dungarees of the master potter. What? That is pretty crazy and sick, and it looks like we are actually pretty close to full health and pretty close to the end of this dungeon, maybe. Oh, look, a new enemy. And die. Alright, so... Things are... meh. There we go. Problem solved. If you call that a problem. Which I, I really don't. Alright, so, oh yes. Well, we'll use it. We're only like one hit point away anyway. We'll try to leave the pots until we're done clearing the level too. If we're at full health. Come heal up on these. We'll kill that. We will kill this guy. And we'll kill his little spawny thing. Alright. Next up is you, sir. And you're down. Alright. And we move and we kill them all. Drop that guy, we go down. Yeah, the game is, uh, it seems somewhat simplistic, but I mean, it's it's all about movement, knowing what you can do, how much damage you do, how much damage the enemy takes, what you can get away with, what the enemy does when they die, or how they move when they want to come after you. There's a lot to this game. It's a lot more involved than you might think at, like, first glance. So, yeah, I am pretty happy that um, the developer actually sent this to me and is allowing me to cover it. I feel pretty privileged to be able to showcase this game. Because I really have started a, I wouldn't say a love affair, but uh, started loving roguelike games. And in all honesty, I'm not really great at most of them. I don't feel that I'm great at this game by any stretch of the imagination. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's not what I'm saying. But I feel like of the roguelike games that I have played, this is one that I'm actually better at than most of the other ones. So. Oops. Oh, that actually worked out really well for me. Hmm. Let's see, we've leveled up, we can get... That's max, we can scare more. Alright, we'll unlock the bomb, I guess. Pumpkin bomb, we will lay it there. Oh, that actually worked. 
Sweet. I didn't know how that actually played out. That was pretty cool. Alright. And we can drop these guys easy enough. And we got a pot and we're up to full health once again, ladies and gentlefolk. Ladies and gentlefolk, we are doing well. Alright, and there's spider webs, which we will of course burn through just because we don't want to ever risk running into them. The smart person could probably avoid dying to them, or use them for a better effect like with enemies, but knowing me, I'm just going to run into them and get myself tangled up and killed, so I'm going to try to avoid that. Alright, it's time to go down to the next level, and we shall do so. In the Chambers of the Council. So we're going to try to clear this out as much as possible. And keep in mind, folks, I have not beaten it. I've gotten a little bit further than I am right now. That's about as far as I got. There's actually one enemy I have no idea how to deal with. And one of the upcoming, uh... One of the upcoming, uh, levels. Levels, that's the word I'm looking for. Levels! Alright, so we can afford to get that. Let's go down here and get these out of the way. We are slaughtering mushrooms left, right, and center. Oh! Uh, the clog heads are most destructive indeed. I think I skipped over one. I'm sorry, guys. They've already put down big, er, down gentle big ick, and they've pillaged the Gotris's warrens. If left unchecked, they will wreak havoc on our society. Yep, yep, we must think of the mushrooms first. Yep, yep, the clog heads must go. Please, siblings, hear me. I have visited with the clog heads. I have broken bread in their homes. You misunderstand the nature of their actions. They are a simple, peace-loving people. They value order and community above all else. And they mean us no harm. Consider how bountiful a friendship with the Clogheads might be. Can we not put aside our perceived differences and unite under one common goal? Look, a Cloghead. One has come to plead the case for its people. Pay attention to how cute and peaceful it looks. It is sort of cute. Yep, yep, and peaceful looking. Yes, yes, come, gentle Cloghead, enter our home. Meet my siblings, my wonderful mushroom brethren. Sproggy's mushroom costume falls off. Er, um... <gasps> oh, 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 why? This is villainy! Yep, yep, it's a cloghead plot. How devious. Yep, yep, that's it. That is all. Let us declare war on the clogheads. Yep, yep, let us declare war. Unleash the Hulk's room. <laughs> There's the Hulk's room, ladies and gentlemen. Hulk shroom smash! And we're just going to like go over here and chill for a little bit. And we're going to come back up. We're going to cash that in. Ah, uh, sure. Oh, look. Oh, I'll say, you're frozen. But you're not anymore. Yay, we killed him and we stole his box thing. Alright, there's a lot more leaves around, which means there could be more mushrooms hiding within. Nope, that's it. So there we go guys, another boss down. We defeated it with our Farmer of Awesomitude. And let's see, we have Nero, the new uh, flame jelly guy joining us. And oh gosh, uh, a mushroom has actually joined us. And we got a total of 1,662 monies for that. Which is sweet, sweet nice. That did not go as planned. Plead the Cloghead Case at the Council of Big Tree. Quest completed. I should have used a professional tailor for my mushroom disguise. Now the mushrooms are convinced that the whole fiasco was a Cloghead plot. They will not be reasoned with. How upsetting. On the plus side, you did salvage this chest from the chamber of the Council. I suggest returning it, but the mushrooms will probably kill you. Might as well open it up. And... Ta-da! We can finally get our... Archer. Oh, your village is so lovely, so civilized. I hope beyond hope that the mushrooms don't burn it down. I must think on how to appease with them. Or, that... Appease with... What did he... I don't know. It's fine. Whatever. But Racco, I must devise a plan. Bye, Racco. I will return, Cloghead. For now, savor the comforts of civilization. Then come find me. Yeah. That happened. Alright, guys, so that's kind of it. I mean, I suppose we can talk to these different various people. Slurp, slurp. Anything else? Nope. Yes, no, maybe. Nope. Alright, we can take a look in the shop A once again. And let's check out this guy. 
Ooh, the dungarees of the master potter. This 4,000 versus the 1,500 from the other dungarees that we bought earlier. Eh, it's, it's fine. And then the cone of flames is still down here. It's, it's, it's okay. Alright, guys, I guess I will show you the archer and then we'll break it off. Oh no, no, no! Cloghead, come quick! Something awful has happened. The mushroom civilization is expanding so quickly they are multi multiplying, evolving. They spread beyond Sproggy Wood and into Ghost Fen. Ghost Fen is a scary place, and I accidentally skipped that. I apologize, folks. Feel free to go back and pause and read what I skipped there. I didn't mean to skip it. Shame on me. All right, so, but that's not all. An even greater danger lurks in the waters of the Fen. They aren't ready. They have no idea. Look, I know the clogheads and the mushrooms are not the best of, on the best of terms. Yes, they were furious when they discovered a plot a big tree. Yes, they declared war on your people. But they are in grave danger. You must help them. You are their only hope. You must journey into the heart of Ghostfen. The way... The way in lies through the bloated grotto, where the giant frog Rumako makes his lair. Go there and best Rumako carve a path into the fen before it's too late. Okay, or we can do this. And we are going to roll out with that, and we're going to try to breeze through this quickly, guys. That way this episode is not redonkulously long. I don't know. So you start, still start off with melee. I mean, that's a given. You're always going to be melee every time you start the, the level, the game, whatever. The only difference is... Okay, we're going to turn on a run mode here. The only difference is... Oh gosh, we are just getting wrecked here. Um, We can shoot arrows now. Once you level up, you can actually shoot arrows. And arrow shooting is actually pretty good. So we're going to shoot several arrows at the enemy. And it is going to be sweet, sweet, nice. So there we go. We have succeeded. We can shoot through walls, all sorts of things. It's pretty cool. This guy is a bit OP. But at the same time, you can do stupid things and get yourself killed. As you can with any of the classes. So keep that in mind, folks. Alright, we're going to go roll in any direction. That is a pretty good defensive ability. We'll showcase it right now. Whoa! Look at that. See that ninja move there? Bam. Alright, so we're going to do that. And with the power of pottery. Ooh, we're going to catch that. We are a little hurt, and we're not recovering from our pottery pants. But that's okay. We don't need our pottery pants. We're going to murder his face. In a, in a good way, though. I mean, come on. We're clog heads. We're not... Ooh, look at that. An alchemist's vial. You can sip potions twice. Ooh, shiny. I like that. Alright, we'll swap back over and take that out with our melee strike. You will end up using more of your stars when you play as the archer because not everything dies in one shot. Alright, we're just going to hold the line here. And they're going to fight us one at a time, and we are going to drop them. And now we're going to go down to the bottom of this area. Kill this guy off. Trigger that. Sell. And I think that's it, folks. I think that is the end of this little level. We're going to go down to the next one, and then the next one, and then we're going to kill Big Ick once again. Drop, drop, drop. Alright, and down we go over here. Again, you try to full clear the levels. Now, the only difference between this and a lot of roguelikes is you don't, and I've said this before, but you don't retain your levels from mission to mission. So, normally cl full clearing a level is really, really good. In this game, it's still good, but it's not as great as it is in a lot of the other roguelikes. Because upgrading your character so you can actually survive the boss fights and anything else that comes your way is really, really nice. But, again, at the same time... Ooh, the Vanishing Vest. Nice. We're going to take it. And we are now leveled up once again. A piercing shot. Eh, whatever. Alright, let's try this. I don't know what that's going to do. I didn't seem to do anything. I guess it shoots through walls and anything else that's lined up. But we are doing well here. We'll take this out. It looks like it's going to be time for us to shoot some more arrows. And there we have it. More dead things. 
and we roll to the side and we shoot and we kill. So, as you can see, the archer is pretty sick. He is, he seems pretty OP. He's definitely better than the warrior in a lot of ways, but at the same time, there are ways where the warrior is actually better as well, so, eh. Like, you could actually hit multiple enemies if you get surrounded with a warrior, you can't do that with this guy. Uh, but you can roll through people and roll to safety, so... If rolling is fundamental to your life, well, this is the guy for you. And we're just going to drop them all from a distance, and as you can see, it's sweet, sweet, nice, and relatively easy at this point. They don't offer much of a challenge, but, we're, you know, we've gone past the learning to play the game stage here, so we need to have them summon and fight for us. We are now in the... We are actually really OP, and we are just coming back to this level because we want to star and say that we've done it. And we get money for it, and that allows us to unlock better gear. Better loot, better gear, Papa John. So, nothing to do with Papa John. Alright, guys, down to the next level. I think we've cleared this one. We are now in Big Ick's lair, and I don't think Big Ick stands much of a chance, so we're just going to annihilate him, and there it is. It is over, we're going to go around, as always, clear the level, Divine Convalescence, we are once again fully healed, which doesn't really make any difference, we've leveled up, I don't, I don't know, sure. Alright, so, with that, bam, we are done with this episode, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And in the next episode, which should be on Wednesday, I will hop into the Bloated Grotto and then probably back to Goturku and go there and do various random things. Until then, guys, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later. <laughs>